Good evening, it's Grandmoose. We're gonna continue with our story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. This one is on page 256. So get your bed, get your bed all comfy, get your book ready. Are you ready? This one is called The Friend of Little Children. This is about Jesus and the children from Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 18 and 19, and Mark chapter 10, also found in Luke chapter 18. Are you ready? Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, Jesus said. No, you're not, said Peter. Oh, I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, I am too. This silliness went on and on like that for some time, you see. Jesus' friends had started thinking about that they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them best. You see that? But they had forgotten something. Something God had been teaching his people all through the years that no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes a difference because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about the gift, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus's friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had time to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior or get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or would you have done just what these children did? They ran straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and let you sit on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's just what they did. Well, after the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, no matter how big you grow, Never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Remember to say your prayers. And remember, Grandma loves you.